Hi there, this is the Bellas Artes Art Exhibition. It is a nonprofit program that serves families ages 2 to 72. And we have an exhibition right now that is based on this incredible show that we found down at the LA County Art Museum. It is artifacts that were discovered from the hidden tunnels under a, the pyramids in, uh, outside of Mexico City. And you can see that everybody here has really taken the inspiration from the artifacts that were found. Well, hello, and you are? Hi, my name is Miriam Moctezuma. What do we have here? So this is part of the Bellas Artes show. We have some of our great artists here. Um, they range in uh, a wide uh, age range. There is some high schoolers like Nancy, um, but we also have some children uh, like Freddie and Sammy who have been coming to the program since they were uh, just babies. <laughs> um, we have Dana and Yorette who are currently in middle school. Uh, we also have Nancy who just started high school. Well, hello. Hello, Larry. I'm Kathleen Lord and I'm standing in front of another wall of the beautiful art created in the Bayes Artes Summer Program 2019. Um, some of these are among my favorites. This particular painting is by Jose Garnica. He's been with us since he was just born. Wow. And how old is Jose now? Maybe he's about 10. 10. And what I love about this particular piece is it's very much like the faux artists and it's what he sees looking at something that someone else sees as this. Oh, interesting. Or there's another one over there. So I find it fascinating how at different ages or different people can see or look at the same image and see such different realities. Well, hello, and your name, and how old are you? Hi, my name is Sochil Tesuma, and I'm 16 years old. Can you show me some of your work? I have this. It's a statue of clay. Okay. Any others you have in the show? I have this one, but it's so, it was the first, one of the first ones to sell. How much did you sell it for? $40. $40. Nice. Beautiful. And, um... What else? Do you, have, do you have another piece in the show? Yes, I have one over here. Or any other stuff. Oh, and where, where did you get the ideas from, from this exhibit catalog? We all look through a book and then you get the ideas, but it doesn't always have to be the exact same ideas. You can put your own ideas on the artwork. This is your Ritzy Montezuma, and this is her piece. She's been with the program since she was born. <laughs> and what I find fascinating about this piece is the inspiration for it was the heavy um, metal obsidian, not metal, rock, obsidian creatures that were carved. And she turned them into soft, fluffy, floaty, kind, <laughs> happy creatures. <laughs> These are and a lot of great art here. This is our window display or an announcement for the, um, for the show. And you can see that these are the paintings that are in the show in black and white. They reproduce beautifully. I think these are fantastic pieces. These were based on these very small sculptures that they found under the pyramids. And you can see that these figurines were great as small and really large. Beautiful paintings, beautiful palette. Also really uh, appreciate this piece, which is by a very young child, Isaiah. And below it, Emmanuel, Christian. I love all the different perspectives of and, the and once people. again, they got their inspiration from what? They got their inspiration from the study of Teotihuacan. Which was an ex excavated site in Which Mexico. is a site in Mexico with two giant pyramids. It's a huge site. They are still um, finding things. They recently found 
new tunnels and they have little robots which all the children loved learning about. And so the archaeologists are working away in this beautiful ancient city. What's, what's here? And this is a piece of clay made by the staff. It's um, here for a silent auction piece to benefit the program. And it kind of shows a lot of the other elements you've seen in the clay made by everybody in the workshop. This is one of the paintings that's no longer here. It was sold. It was done by one of the dads that came every day during our summer program. And it's a really powerful, beautiful piece. And what have we here? So these are some of the paintings that were inspired by one of the findings in Teotihuacan. Uh, it was called El Pato Loco, uh, which in Spanish means the crazy chicken. Uh, one of the interesting things about the excavation was that they found many, many shells. Um, and it's just wonderful to see how different each painting is uh, using the same idea. Well, thank you very much. Well, thank you. We hope you enjoyed the show. If you want to know more about us, find us online at Carp Bellas Arte. C A R P B E L L A S A R T E S dot com. And we have uh, some great shows. We have a show here at the Art Center every year. Uh, we have Viva events at the locations that we do the art at here in Carpinteria. Um, and our families uh, just love to do all this art every year. Bellas Artes was first started in 2004 at the Carpinteria Camper Park. And it was after painting a mural at Franklin Creek there, the Yeep person or the tutor at Camper Park came out and said, can you come and do art with the people at Camper Park? So we went and here we are. Co-sponsored okay, well, by? Co oh, it? we're co-sponsored by People's Self-Help Housing and the Carpenter Linda Fairley Carpenteria Arts Center, and we get grants and donations for the program. One grant comes from the Tobes Foundation. Okay, well, thank you very much. And the program's free and open to everybody in the um, housing projects that we serve. Well, thank you. And good job, ladies. Nice to see you.